Welcome to this video. We're looking at snort and being able to do rolls. Go ahead and log in. All I have is again a OSCP Cali VM uh, machine that I downloaded from their site and I have it fully updated. I just installed my snort and now we're going to be looking at configuring uh, a snort rule. So normally what I normally do is I try to browse this through a browser first. It should be in other locations, etc, snort, and I'm looking at rules. Here are the, all of the, uh, the rules that it has, but we're not really going to be editing the rules here because we can just do it from our terminal. We want to go ahead, let's use leaf pad. We're going to be doing etc slash snort slash I uh, see here we did, oh, I'm getting ahead of myself. We're going to be doing our snort config first. Snort dot C O N F. All right, so let's go ahead and look at config. And again, we're just looking to see what's here. We can configure the network here. We can configure the coders. We can configure the rules. We can configure ports. We can see what rules are here. So the goal of this isn't so much to see all the configs, but it's mainly just to see what's available. As you scroll through it, customize rule sets. You can see what's included, what's not included. What I really like was being able to browse through the folders, you can see the rules. And once I'm in the rules, I'm looking for ICMP. And lo and behold, it is here. So I also want to go ahead and look at that rule. So we're going to do rules slash ICMP dot rules. All right, let's go ahead and edit that rule. And here it is. Here's our ICMP rule. You're going to see that here are all of our alerts. We actually want to add a new rule. All right. We're going to go all the way to the bottom. We want to add in alert ICMP any any to any source any sorry it's going to be any source source IP source subnet Destination IP, destination, subnet. We want to send it a message. We want the message to be ICMP packet. We want to give it a SID of 477. And we want to give it a revision number of three. So this rule will allow us to SID 477 
477 SID colon, or sorry, semicolon reversion 3. Okay, that's all right. All right, go ahead and save and close it. Yep, we want to make the ch uh, changes. And now we have that edited rule. All right, so now that we've done that, let's go ahead and actually execute snort. Let's go ahead and turn it on. Snort hyphen C, hyphen C because we want to uh, load specific rules, and I because we want to log. So let's go ahead and execute it. And there it goes. It's processing. So I'm going to kind of make my window a little bit bigger. I'm going to scroll up. It's going to have some old rules in here. It's going to ignore them. Which is pretty standard. You can always re remove the old rules if you don't want to see all the messages. What I thought was interesting was it starts, it starts listening to ports. It is listening for all the items that you want it to set. Here it's initializing. The nice thing is we had duplicate rules in there and it actually removed them. Here, here's the rule that we created, even though it was a duplicate one, so it got rid of it. So when I close the window, that's it, it's done. So how do we make this execute as a daemon, as a service? What we do is we add a capital D. Capital D will run it as a daemon, uh, as a daemon. All right, there it goes. It is spawning the, the daemon. And there it's child. All right, so that is installing. Oh, sorry, this is configuring and setting up a rule. If you have any questions, please let me know. Thank you.